AITAH for refusing elective surgery? It's a long walk to get to the point, but stick with me here. In 2020, I, F, started dating a man who I'd known and been close friends with for nearly a decade at the time. We'll call him Tim. Despite a 16-year age difference, we'd gotten along well. Until we started dated. I quickly learned that Tim's idea of a good time included gaslighting me to the point that I questioned my own sanity, screaming at me an inch from my face while I calmly asked him to stop and then lowering his voice and asking why I was yelling at him when I'd finally react, and ignoring me for days on end after a fight that he single-handedly started just to name a few. I had a one-year-old at the time from a previous relationship and I was still cordial with her father and his older kids. We tried to do something together as a family in the community one weekend a month, for the sake of the kids, and Tim always had an open invitation but never came. If I dared be anywhere but at Tim's side or sitting on his couch waiting for him to come home, then I was grossly accused of cheating, out playing with swinging dicks, to be exact. A few years before we began dating, Tim was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. He fought it and ultimately won, but there was discussion of needing an organ transplant at that time. I got tested I was a match and candidate as a living donor. Ultimately, he wound up not needing a transplant at that time and was in remission throughout our relationship. I finally broke off communication with him once and for all a little more than a year ago, and it has truly been the best decision I have ever made. Last week, I was contacted by Tim's brother, who I've kept in contact with, he was always good to me and acknowledged that how his brother acted was not okay, sporadically telling me that Tim now desperately needs a transplant and asked if I would donate. I gave it a lot of thought, but declined. I was recently diagnosed with PTSD from my pregnancy, kiddo is now 4.5 years old, and that has left me a tremendous amount of anxiety regarding my health, medical procedures. Additionally, I have an autonomic nervous system disorder which is known to frequently worsen after any kind of physical, mental trauma that we've only just managed to start getting under control. And, ultimately, it is major surgery. I am the primary caregiver to my daughter, as well as a five-year-old foster child. They need me here and at 100%. I guess word has gotten out, because I've been contacted by several of our old mutual friends telling me that if they had the option to donate to save his life, they would, and I should, too. They're also telling me what a great guy Tim is which, honestly, I thought too until I entered into a romantic relationship with him. His brother has also begged me. Their father is long gone and they lost their mom a few years ago his brother is the only family he has left. All these messages are making me question Ida? Edit. I don't think that Tim necessarily asked his brother to reach out to me. Nevertheless, Tim is in a position of authority where he oversees 500 people at his job and they all adore him many of those guys were mutual friends. I do know several have gotten tested. They are apparently talking in terms of weeks before a transplant would no longer be a viable option at all. Hearing a lot of, put the past in the past, everyone deserves to live. Obviously not the asshole. No one who is a true friend to you will encourage you to donate an organ to someone abusive to you. Not the asshole people are very quick to hypothetically give organs but when it comes down to it very hard decision. For the people who are criticizing you have they got themselves tested to see? Especially his brother who more likely to be a match. Not the asshole at all. Hang on to your innards and hope that you can stay healthy for your child's sake as well as your own. Not the asshole. I'd laugh at the very idea. Let the bastard die. Not the asshole. None of those people were subjected to the real Tim like you were. As a human, sure it sucks that his health has taken a turn but he's done nothing to earn yet another piece of you. You have other priorities and you own health concerns to deal with. He is not your problem anymore. Am I the asshole for secretly marrying my husband and potentially stealing $200,000 from my mother? I am a 30-year-old gay man who lives in a condo with my husband that was paid for from the family inheritance left by my grandfather. When my grandfather passed away, my mother was left in charge of the estate, his will and the finances. In the will my grandfather had stated he wanted part of the money used for my brother and I to help us have better lives after he is gone. My mother is a Christian who has never accepted I was a gay man. When I tried coming out at 14, she had none of it and kept sending me to church camp to pray the gay away as she believed homosexuality comes from the devil. Fast forward to 2022 after my grandfather passed away and I had just landed a new cooperate job. I have Crohn's disease and I am often sick and stuck at home. 
I convinced my mother that it would be best for me to move out and get my own place to hold a stable job. This allowed me to have a home office dedicated to my job. Now I have been dating a man for the past three years who is now my husband. I had tried speaking with my mother about him but she refused and eventually said, Oh not this again, did you learn nothing from church? Eventually, I told her nothing about my relationship or my plans to move my husband into the condo and get married after he got settled in. I knew she was going to buy me a place and I saw this as an opportunity to finally rescue my husband from his abusive ex-boyfriend who was a level 3 hoarder. After my husband lived with me for a month, I tried to talk to my mother that she would see someone in my condo if she decided to visit. She quickly became annoyed and confused. I explained to her once again that I was a gay and I was getting married to the love of my life. She freaked out and said I was dishonoring my grandfather's memory and would tear apart the family with my gay antics. She further explained she only gave me ownership of the condo so I could build credit, hold a job and have homestead so my taxes were cheaper. She went on a rant for at least an hour on how I was evil, manipulative and she was going to sue me if I didn't sign the property over to her immediately. I refused and she said she would see me in court. For six months my mother harassed my husband and I for us to separate or at least have my husband live elsewhere or she would proceed with the lawsuit. During this time I contacted every law firm in the city and explained the situation. Luckily the lawyers understood and she never found a lawyer to take the case. I know I breached my mother's trust but we never had a written agreement beforehand of what I could and couldn't do with the condo I now own. A year later, my mother is still upset about the condo but still talks to me. However, she told the family her side of the story on how I manipulated her, told no one I was getting married, and how I stole to $200,000 from her. So now my family of over 30 plus people will not talk to me, answer my calls and I'm not invited to any gatherings. So am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You tried to approach her, she denied you the respect as a human you deserve. Enjoy the condo and all the best in the world for you and your husband. In ta. But seriously. Do you want people like that in your life? Legally your money. Hope you got all you were entitled to receive. Absolutely not the asshole. Esh. She sucks for being homophobic. You suck for talking to every law firm in the city and telling them not to take her case. It also seems a bit shady the way you got her to put the condo in your name. Dot. Honestly though, congratulations on your marriage. I wish nothing but the best for you and your husband. Am I the asshole for purchasing a property that was left to myself and a sibling in a will? My aunt left my brother and I her home in Cape Cod in her will. The home just appraised for $700,000. For context, I have also been appointed the executor of her estate. Her will was written in 2015 and stated for the property to be sold and the proceeds split between my brother and I my aunt and I were very close and she had expressed to me in the year or so leading to her passing away that she wished to modify her will to leave the property to me outright and compensate my brother by designating him the beneficiary of some iris she held, but it never happened. My brother and my aunt were not close at all, he only called her when he needed something. The property has sentimental value to me and I have the means to purchase it at this point in my life. My brother's wishes are to co-own it together, despite he and I having a poor relationship. I expressed to my brother that I wasn't interested in co-owning property with anyone except my wife for financial independence. I didn't express to him that a large reason of not wanting to co-own is because of his financial instability, he doesn't have an income, he's 28 and still lives with my dad, and has terrible credit, and tons of medical bills. My fear was that he would use the property as a place to stay disproportionately to his 50%, or not be able to pay for 50% of the upkeep related to it. I did however express that I would invite him to visit as a guest, but I just wasn't interested in co-owning. He said that if my wishes were to buy it, he'd want 60% of the fair market value for his 50%, which I think is unreasonable. He believes we could sell the property for more than $700,000 which I agree is certainly a possibility although unlikely. Even if I sold for more than $700,000, we'd also probably spend 6 plus percent on real estate commission, plus the additional expenses associated with it sitting on the market, taxes, utilities, etc. Unless we found a buyer to pay more than $50,000 over appraised value, I think that my brother walks away with the most cash in the scenario of me buying it. Fast forward. I have a pre-approval letter for $350,000 financing. 
I learned from my estate lawyer that because my brother is an heir to the proceeds of this property, and that I'm simultaneously the executor of the estate and a third-party buyer that I can just proceed with the purchase price of $350,000 from the estate. He doesn't really have a say in the sale price as long as it's the appraised value or higher. My lawyer advised that if he feels entitled to more, he'd have to take the estate to court over it, and he'd lose 99% of the time. My brother has also been spreading slander to the rest our family, stating that I'm spending all the money in the estate checking account and that I'm shady, and probably paying off my primary house's mortgage with the estate's money. 100% not true, and also illegal. If I proceed with the sale of the house to myself without my brother being happy about it, am I the asshole? Not the asshole. But tell him that he also has the opportunity to purchase the house for the same amount of money that you are giving him. Put it in writing where he signs his choice of to purchase the home or to sell it. Tell him that you will never agree to joint ownership with him. So he has the option to buy you out or you buy him out. But he will need to provide the same purchase price you will give him. Not a penny more. If he buys you out, you can then choose to purchase a different home. Betting he won't, and for $350,000 he can purchase his own home. Op. I think your lawyer has given you bad advice. But it also sounds like your brother may not be able to afford a better lawyer so that may not matter. I'm going nah, because I find it hard to feel like anyone is getting screwed when the worst case scenario is a $350,000 windfall. But this has drawn out court battle and extended family schism, written all over it. I would recommend listing it and bidding if it's important to you to own this. You might want to remind your brother that there is usually an executor fee in the amount of 10% of assets. If he keeps this up look into collecting the fee. Not the asshole. You need to cut that brother out of your life. Life is short enough to deal with such negativity. But if you feel like you have to defend yourself then stick to the truth. Point out that your brother has no job, no savings, and no means of paying for 50% of the upkeep and taxes on the house and that as executor of the will you are actually following your aunt's wishes because she had said she wished for you to have the home outright but that the will was never updated to reflect this. If other members of your family do not believe you, well, tell them to get stuffed. Blood is not thicker than water and there is absolutely no need to have anything to do with family members who are toxic. YTA Am I the asshole for causing my siblings to lose massive amounts of money when they need it most? This is a messy situation all around. Sometimes I feel like my actions are justified while at other times I feel like I'm just plain wrong. My brothers, sisters, and I do not have a great relationship. We're all low or no contact with each other. I have a great job that pays very well while they're barely making minimum wage or living of their spouses. During our parents' last years, I was the only one in a position to help them. I paid for whatever care they needed and made sure they were comfortable. My siblings sometimes visited our parents but none contributed to their care. I also paid the taxes and maintenance of their house. We never discussed their wills beyond them letting me know they existed. When our dad passed, he left everything to our mom. When she passed, I was shocked. I thought the estate would be divided equally between the children but instead, the bulk of the estate, almost all of it is in the house, was left to my siblings. My portion was a minority, 5%, ownership in their house. Mom wrote letters to all of us and in her letter to me. She thanked me for taking care of her and explained that she left me so little because I didn't really need it while my siblings need all of the help she could give them. The shock turned into hurt as I did more for my parents than everyone else. My siblings immediately wanted to sell the house to cash out. I don't know the market value but the tax value is about $750,000. My siblings are begging me to agree to sell or buy them out because they can't afford their portion of the taxes, including their huge estate tax bills coming up and maintenance, and they can't afford to buy me out. I've done fine before the measly inheritance so I won't miss it. On the other hand, my siblings want to move out of their apartments or pay for their kids' braces or some other sappy excuse. One even said his wife's car is dying and they currently can't afford a new car. My wife understand my hurt but she said I'm taking it too far. My siblings alternate between begging and cussing at me. You decide. Edit to answer questions. It's not about the money. If my mom left me the entire estate, it still wouldn't be enough to cover the cost of what I spent on their health care, groceries, funeral costs, and not to mention all of the bills related to the house. I spent that money with the full understanding that none of it was coming back because they were my parents. The hurt comes from the nominal amount. My end game? 
On good days I don't know what my endgame is. On bad days I'm willing to go scorch earth and let the city auction off the house for unpaid taxes. Before my mom passed, the roof was leaking and I got estimates that ranged from $25,000 $30,000 to fix the rotted wood then replace the shingles. She went downhill so I just forgot about it but now I'm willing to let it collapse into itself. There's no way my siblings can come up with the money to fix the roof much less pay the taxes. You are the asshole I'm sorry man, this sucks. But for what you are asking you are. You have a 5% stake in the house, I'm pretty sure it'll be easy for them to get the executor to force the sale of the house. What is your plan? If you want to live there you'll have to pay them rent anyways or buy them out. 95% of the house owners want to sell they'll get it sold but with a lot of bad blood. Your mom left a poor thanks for all your help, but it's not their fault. And you know they need the money. You are the asshole. But mainly to yourself. It doesn't sound like you want or need an ongoing relationship with your siblings. It doesn't sound like it's a great relationship. Refusing to let go of that small percent of the house and refusing to sell keeps you involved in whatever their ongoing disaster is. Let them sell the house and use the opportunity to further separate yourself. I was in the same situation I felt they stole from my kids and gave it to my siblings and their kids. But at the end of the day, we are more than fine financially compared to my siblings' families. So my best advice is let it go. In fact, refuse the 5% and give it to them and wash your hands of the whole thing. Move forward and seek out therapy to let go of your hurt feelings and resentments. This is a situation where I feel you are justifiably the asshole, and that's okay. What your parents did to you was shameful. You are being punished for working hard, and for taking care of them. That is a slap in the face. If your siblings want to sell it quicker, they can offer you more percentage, or spend the money on lawyers to force the sale. Either way, I wouldn't bend because they want. Hell, not one of them seems to be acknowledging how unfair it was to you. They only care about themselves, so I wouldn't lift a finger for them if I were you. So for the sake of the Reddit algorithm, I'll vote Esh, but you are justified. You are hurt. You expected all the siblings to be treated equally. That is human. And your feelings are real. You spent a lot of money taking care of your parents, and their house. Now maybe you feel it wasn't worth it. Do you want to be repaid the money you spent on that house? How much is it? Are the siblings willing to repay that money with the sale of the house, that then divvy the remainder amount themselves? What is it you want? 